I'm honored to be in, uh, invited by CDL to talk with you today about the future of AI. In the next four minutes, I'm going to do my best to give you a sense of why I believe the future of content creation is machine made and how this artificial intelligence will open up a world of business opportunities that is an order of magnitude larger than created by the commercial launch of the internet in the 90s. Now, in order to understand what the future might be, I'd like to take you back to the dawn of humankind. Deep in our core, we're all storytellers and artists, or in modern lingo, content creators. Starting tens of thousands of years ago with campfire tales and cave paintings, and arriving today with YouTube and TikTok, new technologies have always given us novel ways to express ourselves and share with others. Although the technologies have evolved, the content itself has always been produced by humans. That is up until now. We're on the cusp of something extraordinary when AI is able to create art. Now, this might seem far-fetched, but just hear me out. Just like the movement of a glacier before it calves an iceberg, AI progress is perceived to be very slow until suddenly it's not. In order to get our heads around this, let's talk about something a bit more prosaic, and yet up until recently associated with intelligence unique to humans, spelling, something I'm personally atrocious at. The emergence of word processors in the 70s created an opportunity for spell checkers. Initially, these programs were very rudimentary. They were standalone applications that ran offline. That is, after you wrote your text, the spell checker would load up the file and it would chug away to correct it. Now, eventually, this functionality was rolled into the main word processor. At the start, at, at, at the start, the spell checkers could only find tempo, typos, but eventually they could make suggestions for misspelled words. Then they were context sensitive. Then they could also check grammar. Next, they could autocomplete words in the text messages. And now most word processors can even complete a sentence. I will let the philosophers debate whether this is whether or not this is intelligent behavior, but it's certainly useful, especially to people like myself. Moreover, I don't get involved in the debate on whether deep learning science or engineering. I just know it works. And when it, what I've come to learn recently is that when it comes to deep learning, more is really more. It turns out that by supersizing data sets, the models, and the computational power, and then applying self-supervised learning techniques, these large language models or LLMs, are starting to produce human level creative content. Models like the GPT-3 can take a thesis sentence and generate an entire paragraph. Moreover, they can be trained on a particular author, say Jane Austen, and they will produce the text in her voice. But it's not just the written word. Similar techniques are being used to create images from text. You can literally submit a sentence to DALI-2, such as Molly the Golden Doodle riding a surfboard, and the model will produce a corresponding image. These images are still in the uncanny valley stage, but the results are getting better each day. But I think the most in interesting application is programming, an activity I've been personally doing for over 40 years. There are literally billions of lines of code in the world, and by definition, machine readable. These LLMs are now actually able to write code based on the high-level descriptions provided by the documentation in the header files. Recently, DeepMind entered their model AlphaCode in a programming competition. Now, AlphaCode didn't win, but it placed respectively in the middle of the pact. I don't think it's outlandish to say that within five years, AI-generated art, text, graphics, code will be indistinguishable from average human-level content. Clearly not better than the best of humanity, but clearly just as good as the average person. Now, what does this mean for business opportunities? Well, the commercial emergence of the internet in the 90s made the sharing of content essentially free and spawned the world we currently live in. Now AI is making the creation of content essentially free. So it is frankly mind boggling to think what will happen next. One thing I do know though, is that the vast majority of companies in the world, and especially at CDL, are hamstrung by not having enough programmers. I think this is gonna radically change as soon as LLMs start to produce production grade code. So if the last decades have been about software eating the world, imagine what happens when AI starts writing software. Thank you.